Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Robert's Digital Domain, here on February the 25th, 2014. I'm Robert, and today is kind of special. Um, today saw the floodgates open up for some game releases as of today, um, and yes, there has been a new acquisition. Mm -hmm. um, initially, I was going to get uh, three new titles today um, in the form of uh, Thief for the PS4, um, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 for my PS3, and uh, Plants vs. Zombies uh, Garden Warfare for the uh, 360. Uh, there was a bit of a change, um, due in no small part to the fact that the reviews for two of those titles had come in. Uh, chief amongst those was Thief and Castlevania. Um, the reviews that came back were uh, none too good. Um, kind of hovering around the Midland territory. Uh, Castlevania just universally just been getting around uh, 60% out of 100, 6 out of 10, 6.5, 6.8. So it's just been really just real crappy scores. Uh, Castlevania, eh, fluctuating between uh, 60 out of 100 percent, 70 out of 100 percent, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, with a few rare 8 out of 10, but I, I, I don't think a score any higher than that. Um, but most of the reviews have been that have come on in have just kind of pegged it at or around like, you know, 7, 7.5, which there too is kind of meh territory. Which for, for me now anymore is just, it's insufficient. Um, because uh, my big uh, New Year's resolution going into this year and going into the next generation proper was um, no games that review below uh, 9 out of 10 or 90% out of 100 are going to get my fair dime, okay? Um, if it's interesting enough that I, I'm still curious about it, what I may end up doing is just renting instead or just waiting for those titles down the road to just kind of end up getting discounted deeply enough that I feel that their price point is commensurate with their rating so as I don't feel as though I'm paying $60 for something I'm not getting a AAA experience, okay? If it's rating at 9 out of 10 or 90% out of 100%, that, in my in my value estimation, that's a, that's a sixty dollar purchase. If it's sixty percent out of a hundred, six out of ten, seven out of ten, no, no, then that becomes like a like a thirty dollar purchase, or twenty four ninety nine or less. You know, I mean, it's you you have to kind of you know look at the 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 rating scale and you have to apply, you know, dollar value. Dollar value for me, a full sixty. Uh, dollar value for a game is 90 to 100 percent and that game has is rated good it's got a quality to it that it lives up to its dollar value and there you go so two of the three got knocked out uh, but I still did go ahead with one in the form of Garden Warfare Plants vs. Zombies yay well, my daughter wanted this one um, as soon as she had learned of it, and I'd been, you know, tracking it since it's um, since it was revealed at E3 the other year, and uh, I've just been looking for like you know a cute, quirky shooter, like you know a, a family title that uh, me and me and the kids can do, and I got it for the 360. Um, I don't have an Xbox One as of yet. Um, I am. Seriously considering uh, the Titanfall bundle, which they had announced recently. Um, they have it where you get the standard Xbox One, but you get uh, bundled in a digital copy of Titanfall. So I'm uh, seriously leaning in that direction, although, yes, I have uh, gone over to Sony for the most part, but uh, I am willing to have the competitions machine I may not support it nearly as heavily um, as Sony's, but you know, if quality releases come out onto it, that 
are desirable and I want to play, hey, why not? Have the best of all worlds. But I'm still pretty much firmly a Sony man. And I'm still faithful to the 360. I mean, I've been working out the old game library, and I've been getting a lot of, you know, getting a lot of uh, use out of it. I mean, I've been, uh, you know, racking up some achievements off of Far Cry 3, off of, uh, let's see, Borderlands 2 I went back and was uh, completing uh, Tiny Tina's uh, Assault on Dragon Keep uh, DLC, and I netted, like, four achievements in, like, one... Four or five achievements in one sitting, which was really nice. Um, went back to go uh, finish out uh, Transformers War for Cybertron, which, uh, having learned that there's a new Transformers title, I figured, you know what, I, I I wanted to go back and finish that on out. You know, and I'm a, I'm a tool for anything Transformers outside of Michael Bay stuff, which I, I couldn't care for. But anyway, we're going to get on to the reveal of uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack this open before the girl gets here. I I I wanna I wanna I wanna take a run at it before she uh gets her grubby little mitts on it. <laughs> so just kinda get a feel for it and I, I know I'm gonna enjoy it. I, I haven't seen any reviews for this one just yet. I suspect they'll be good. I mean from what I've seen of the, the actual gameplay, it looks pretty it looks pretty solid. I mean, coming from PopCap, it's, uh, well, it's unusual for PopCap, because PopCap, uh, the company who uh, made the Plants vs. Zombies, originally created the game as a tower defense title. Now they're creating it as a, um, like a pseudo tower defense, but from a third person perspective. So I figured, you know, I'll give that a go, and, um, and see how it is. So... As far as any other acquisitions, uh, that's it basically for February. Um, going into March, the potential Titanfall release, and then uh, later on towards the end of March is um, infamous Second Son for uh, PlayStation 4, which is looking very good and I'm really, 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 really hoping is going to review good. Um, it's kind of disappointing about Thief and uh, well, Castlevania. I, I I had a I had an inkling was gonna kind of be mediocre, only because you know, not not for nothing and nothing against Konami really, but you know, I mean they they make good action games, but as far as like the writing and story on these things is concerned, it's just, it's just like it, it it's just absolutely inaccessible. It's like you know, what's this character doing here? What what you know what 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 is their motivation you know why are they why were they were once a, a foe now they're your friend now they're a foe again you know it's like I I think that they they should have just handed it off to a Western studio and I think you know maybe the writing would have been better but it's it's going to be all I can do to just uh, you know pull myself away from this title tonight so. With that, I'm going to pour into that, and this is Robert, Robert's Digital Domain, signing off here on the 25th of February, and we'll probably be back on um, March the 11th for a possible, possible Titanfall release. We'll see you then.